Hello, I'm Bruce Shane, and today we're looking at a balancing challenge that you can do with your friends or family, or I could do it in a classroom. It starts with a soda can, and the idea is to try and bounce that can on an angle. That doesn't seem to work. Nope. Let's try it with an empty can. Nope. So why can't I get this balanced? The answer, of course, is that it's not being supported under its center of gravity. That position would be located in the very center of the can, and without support underneath it, it simply falls over. Now to get this balance, I need to change its center of gravity. To do that, I'll simply open up the can and drink it down to about here. We want to leave about 100 milliliters of liquid left in the can. Of course, if I drank too much of it, or if the can were empty, I could simply add some water Let's try that. And there it is. Now, why does this can balance? To start, liquid in just the bottom of the can lowers the center of gravity, and that makes it more stable. We can see that demonstrated here with an empty soda bottle. Let's try it again with a lower center of gravity. Now the bottle's much more stable. Second, the angle of the can spreads the liquid out so the center of gravity is directly over where it's being supported. And third, the bottom of the can has a double lip, which means it has two places where it's being supported. So cans without that second edge simply won't work. Since the bottom of the can is curved, that means only a tiny portion of it is going to be touching the surface for support. So we can try and bounce it on some very narrow surfaces like this thin piece of wood. Hey, it worked! Now there is a way to make these a little bit more permanent, and that's to use a liquid inside that would form in place and then solidify. Here's some good possibilities, either modeling clay or wax. The idea is to heat them up until they melt, carefully pour the hot liquid into the can, and then we're going to set it on an angle and let it sit. After it's cooled, remove the tape from the top, and now it should bounce every time I tip it. Aside from making this permanent, the modeling clay actually has another advantage. These two cans didn't bounce with water, but since modeling clay is denser, when I added that to these cans, they bounced very nicely. Now, while regular cans don't work, we can find some objects that will. For example, this bowl, it won't balance. It's close. Now, if I pour some water into it, it demonstrates what happens inside the cans. Is that going to do it? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now, there is one other way to get the can to balance, and that's simply to crumple it up. Bending the can in half will move the center of gravity towards the center, and if you get it to the right spot, you should be able to get it to balance. Yeah, there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this challenge on balancing soda cans. So the next step would then be balancing soda bottles. That challenge might look something like this. Or how about boxes? You can try balancing your next box of pizza or maybe just your next box of candy. Well, I do hope my videos give you some ideas to try for yourself. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Okay, bye.